గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ సార్ గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ so you are from civil background yes sir so what made you to come towards it industry because nowadays it is very uh, global in world that's why i take education okay so you want to make your career in it industry yes sir so what are the skills required for the for getting job in it industry first thing uh, problem solving skills and team management skills communication is important okay uh, what do you know about like team management like uh, did you come across any kind of situations like that yes sir in my final year of engineering um, i did a project in that project we are five members including me i am the only one girl in that project i am the uh, i will uh, i have taken the lead in that project that's why uh, i think i have that qualities okay. so uh, so we will go through your profile uh, please introduce yourself yes sir my name is priyanka i am from kadapa district currently i am staying in hyderabad coming to my educational qualification uh, i got an opportunity for the 6 years integrated course at triple it umgol i have completed my btech in the stream of civil engineering and my intermediate also completed in same college coming to my strength i am self motivated and i am always keen to upskill myself by learning new things whenever i get a chance and my short term goal is to develop my growth mindset and my long term goal is to get promoted to senior position at work with a high package and my favorite hobby is listening music currently i am pursuing java full stack course but uh, up to now i have conceptual knowledge and uh, technical knowledge and code java okay. <coughs> we'll go through code java like yes, whatever you so tell me uh, like why java is platform independent java is platform independent uh, because if you write any program on one operating system you can use that uh, uh, program on another operating system without modifications that why java is platform independent so what are the translators we have uh, three translators are there um, interpreter compiler assembler <coughs> so we'll go to the next one uh, why uh, what are the conditional statements we have we have four conditional statements if if else nested if else if ladder is it ladder is it yes one more statement is missing no sir four are you sure sure sir so what about switch case switch is jumping statement how can we say that it is jumping statement is a conditional statement okay <coughs> what are looping statements <coughs> looping statements are three types do do while loop for loop okay in what cases we have to choose a if else ladder or a switch case what is the difference between them if else ladder consists uh, another if statement inside the if statement uh, this will execute the uh, block of the code if the given statement is true uh, whereas switch statement is used to if you want to select one of the many block of codes then we can use that okay very good <coughs> what are global members global members are two types static members and non static members so tell me the difference between static and non static members static members are static members are members of the class uh, th- uh, that belongs to inst- uh, that belongs to class itself rather than the ob- uh, object of the class whereas non static members are members of the class that are belongs to object of the class okay. this uh, if you want to access non static members uh, if you we need to create a new cla- a new object class by using new keyword then uh, we can access by, followed by the dot operator whereas static members if you want to access static members um, we need to use class name followed by the dot operator 
What is difference between class and object? Class is a collection of objects. It is a blueprint where objects has been created. Object is a real world entity. For example, if car is a class, then Suzuki, Honda, Maruti can be considered as objects. What is encapsulation? Encapsulation is the process of binding the data and code into a single unit. For example, Java class because it binds the variables and methods into a single unit. Another example is capsule uh, because capsule encapsulates various kinds of uh, medicines. If the various combinations of medicines are taken as variables and methods, uh, then the capsule will be the class and the whole process is known as encapsulation. What is method overloading? Method overloading occurs when a class has two or more methods with the same name but different parameters. Okay. Uh, so, what is method overriding? Method overriding occurs when a class has two or more methods with the same name, same parameters, same return type in both super and subclasses. Okay. What is final keyword? Final key final is a keyword. It is used to declare a method or class or variable. It cannot be changed. What do you know about string? String is a collection of characters. Space is also considered as a string. And it is uh, represented in double quotes. What is the specialty of the string? No ideas. This uh, string is mutable or immutable? Immutable. Sir. Okay, what does it mean immutable? We can't change. Okay. Immutable means we can't change. Uh, what is an exception? Exception is an event uh, that is occurs uh, in the middle of the execution of your program. What is null pointer exception? If you try to access any null reference value, then we will get null, uh, null point exception. Okay. So, what do you know about class cast exception? In method overriding, when you try to perform down casting, then we will get uh, class cast exception. Down casting means when you try to uh, when you try to convert a high high data type to low data type, then we, that is known as down casting. What are wrapper classes? Wrapper classes is a mechanism uh, uh, to convert uh, primitive data type to object to type or object to type to primitive data type. Wrapper uh, classes are six types. Those are integer, boolean, character, float, double, and short. Thank you. What do you know about collection framework? Collection framework is the extension of arrays. It is a collection framework is used to represent a group of elements. Actually, we have arrays to store the data, uh, but arrays have some drawbacks. It is a fixed size and it doesn't have built-in methods. Um, that's why to overcome these uh, drawbacks, we can use collection frameworks. Can you tell me what are the methods are present in collection interface? Add, add all, remove, remove all, contains, contains all, is empty, clear, size iterator. So what are the interfaces are there present in the collection interface? Uh, list is set to queue. Okay. Can you explain me the characteristics of list? It doesn't allow insertion. It doesn't follow insertion order. It yes. Okay. It allows insertion order, and it allows duplicates, and it is also allows null values, and it follows indexing indexing also. So, what is the differences between list and set? List follows the insertion order, uh, while set doesn't follow the insertion order. Uh, list allows duplicates and non null values, whereas set doesn't allow. List follows insertion order, whereas set doesn't follow. Uh, so, what is the difference between array list and uh, linked list? 
ArrayList is the implementation class of set interface. ArrayList. Uh, ArrayList is the implementation implementation class of list interface. Whereas linked list is the implementation class of both set and queue. Uh, the underlying data structure for ArrayList is uh, growable array. Whereas the underlying data structure for set is doubly linked list. Uh, compared ArrayList is very faster to accessing the elements when compared to uh, linked list whereas linked list is faster to access, uh, to inserting or deleting the elements in the middle of the array when compared to array list array list is takes uh, a very less memory compared to linked list what do you know about the vector vector is the child class of list interface that's it so what do you, what do you know about tree set i know sir but right now i am unable to recall it what do you know about hash map and linked hash map hash map and linked hash map both are uh, child impl uh, impl child implementation classes for map interface hash map is implement, uh, implemented in 1.2 version whereas uh, linked hash map is implemented in 1.4 version and uh, hash map follows insertion order whereas uh, whereas linked hash map doesn't follows insertion order this is the only difference between both of them what do you know about the equals and hash code contract equals and hash code methods uh, are used to to compare the objects for equality uh, the contract between these two methods um, if two objects are equal then then the hash code should be same if the two classes are not equal then may or may not be uh, may not hash code is not equal uh, what do you know about preset no sir no idea So, what do you know about uh, comparable and comparator differences? Comparable and comparator both are interfaces, uh, but they have some differences. Comparable is uh, present uh, present in Java dot line package, whereas comparator is present in Java dot util package. Comparable meant for default natural sorting order, whereas comparator is uh, customized sorting order. Uh, when you don't have when default natural sorting order is not available or if you don't want natural sorting order then we will go for com, uh, com, customized sorting order by using comparator and comparable has one method that is uh, compare to method comparable method comparable interface has one method that is compare method So you are done. Very good. Good. Super. Thank, Thank you, you, sir.